Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle. To the best are people from the contraption, like and share videos, news update. I refuse to be cowed into silence on behalf of my constituent, Nam the Colonel. Rep Agocha declares. Yes, talking about the House of Rep member representing Ikuano Umoha not Umoha South Federal Constituency in the lower legislative house. Yes, the House of Representatives. Yes, Honorable Obi Nagocha, Honorable Obi Nagocha, yes, has reiterated his commitment to continue to you know, agitate for the release of Mazina Makano, his own constituent, saying he refused to be cowed or intimidated by anybody, even the security forces say, cannot intimidate him. He is out to defend his own constituency, constituents. Mazina Makano is, is, is his own direct constituents, and therefore he said, he will continue to advocate for his release. All right. He was speaking at the grand finale of the 2023 Press Week of the Correspondence Chapel of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, at the State Council. It was held at the Agri UNC Conference Center in Omaha. Yes. Obi Agocha asserted that Onion Dumas Namakano is his own constituent and therefore. He must demand for his release. And he will never stop doing that until he's released. He recounted the recent confrontation he had with service chiefs over the prolonged detention of the leader of the IPOP. Yes. He said, look, nobody, nobody, nobody can silence him. He will continue to speak out over, over the injustices. What injustices? Method on Mazin Amakano. Yes, he has said it. He said, look, the release of Mazin Amakano will dance tensions in the Southeast. Of course, according to him, the insecurity in the Southeast in recent times has escalated. He is urging the federal government to heed to the growing calls for the release of Mazin Amakano. He said, the release of Mazin Amakano will contribute to bringing lasting peace to the southeast, tranquility to the region. He said only this should be released so that peace can return to the southeast. He said the level of insecurity in the southeast is alarming. And everybody's everybody has been pointing at Kano's country detention as the reason for the escalating insecurity. He said why not release him when you the Kano in compliance with court orders. Alright. So that is what he's saying. And therefore, he urged journalists in that event. Of course, it's a press week. So he charges the journalists to continue to discharge their duties with courage. They continue to be fearless in speaking the truth to power, regardless of the potential consequences of their actions. That is, speaking the truth. Yes, he said journalists should continue to speak out, they should not be afraid. So that is Obi Agocha. Yes, talking about his own brother, Mazina Makano's release. So he's saying, nobody will stop him. You cannot intimidate him, silence him from saying the truth to power, and that is to tell the government now that the release of Mazina Makano is something that they will not tell it. Or they should not toy with because it concerns security of life and property, particularly in the southeast, but even in Nigeria. Yes. And so the Nigerian army, he said they will not cow him, that he will continue to say the truth. And so that is how someone who is from the southeast, an evil man, should behave. Those in the House of Reps. If they are behaving like this man, by now we suppose I have seen some level of progress, particularly in the area of release of Mazda and Kano. Because this man has been vocal, of course. But one tree cannot make a forest. Considered effort is being needed to push for the release of Mazda and Kano. So, some, so many of them are hiding their voices. They don't want to speak out because they are corrupt. They want this Nigerian entity where they will continue to 
swim in the ocean of corruption. They know that in Biafra, their likes will not be tolerated because of their corruption tendencies. They are like, the way they have seen corruption is the way, you know, fish and stagnant water. They can never do without corruption. They are swimming in the ocean of corruption. So that's why they will not say the truth. Because they feel that, oh, if they say the truth, those money will not be coming. If they say the truth, the government will use their past, their past to, you know, hang them or to nail them, as the case may be. So they are afraid, they are jittery. But this guy said, look, he will continue to speak the truth to power, or to say the truth, no matter who's us is God. And we applaud him for that. The wisdom of Mazen and Uncle Nibo is speaking about it. You are not contravening any law. If you talk to the government, to this Mazen and Uncle you are on the right track. Because you are speaking about the law. The law. So you are not asking the government to release a criminal. You are not asking the government to, re to release a terrorist. You are asking the government to release an innocent man. An innocent man, as has been declared by a court of competent jurisdiction. So why would we be afraid to speak it out? Why are you asking the court to release an innocent man that has been declared free, discharged and acquitted by a competent court of jurisdiction? So why had in your mind to say it? In northern Nigeria, so many persons have come out boldly to call for the release of terrorists. The boldly to say it, release terrorists, release criminal elements. Yes, bandits to release them. Those destroy lives and property. So many persons have come out, influential persons in the north, to call out for the release of arrested Fulani Hesmen. Yes, armed Hesmen. Prophet of Battery State once said that, look, said Fulani Hesmen has rights to bear. AK-47 rifle, AK-47 rifle, to do what? To protest their cows. AK-47 rifle. A governor in the northern Nigeria boldly made a statement. Fully the said they have rights. They should continue to bear AK-47, AK-49, to protect their cows. Whereas people who are agitating to have, you know, rifle, you know, no other house politics, to protect human beings for self-defense, government said no. A governor is advocating for full enhancement to carry AK-47. So, such sophisticated weapon. So, and you will not come out to speak truth and say, look, release my sister because court have said so. Even if you don't know what to say, you have known that the court of complete jurisdiction, an appellate court for that matter. So, we, are, we are, I encourage Honorable Biagotcha for what he is doing. Yes, no matter how little. Yes, it shows that he has a root, and he knows where he's come from, and he's identifying with his own people. It's not denying it because of money or material gains.